Excellent. Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is pretty important because I have a tool that I use very often on my YouTube channel. It's my main streaming and capture system and it has been having issues. It's still functional, but I've been limping it along since it started to have issues several months ago. Today, I'm going to be fixing it, refurbishing it and upgrading it, hopefully to do even better. Hold on. And hopefully now it will be able to stream and capture even better because I now have a 4K stream and capture card from Elgato. So I'm gonna be adding this in, cleaning the system out, and you guys get to come along for the ride, yay! So this is actually gonna be a precursor to a full cleaning of this entire area out here in my garage because things have gotten really, really bad. But here's a streaming and capture system. Side panel is off. There's cobwebs and other stuff going on in there. It's super dusty inside. The main thing that failed was my Intel 750 series NVMe SSD RAID array. I had two 400 gig drives in RAID. One of them died. I believe it has died completely. And I just kind of let it, I kind of let it be. I didn't really do much to it to fix it. So I'm gonna pull those out as well and see if I can upgrade the storage on this or maybe just get one of those back in there and up and running. But I guess let's just get to work. I need to pull this thing out of the corner and start tearing it apart. So this is a little embarrassing guys, but I'm, I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Uh, here is the system. So when my RAID array originally started to fail, I actually pulled the side panels off to try to get back there and I pulled one of them out and I ended up figuring out which one was going bad. And then I was like, I will deal with this later. And I've just been sort of using the system as is since then. But it's been over by the back door and the side panel's been off. So I have a lot of this kind of stuff going on, which looks pretty, pretty gross. It's not as bad as it looks, I want to say, but um, yeah, oh, oh, that's, that's not good. So this obviously needs a deep clean apart from updating the capture card situation. So I was supposed to have three capture cards with this system. This is the 4K. This is a uh, 1080 60. Uh, these are both black magic capture cards. And then the external, which I typically use, which is a Razer Ripsaw. The Razer Ripsaw has recently stopped functioning with the system, which is why I'm intending to do a clean install of Windows. But I've also figured out that my black magic 4K mini cards here, the in, works great as a capture for my camera, but I can't get it to work with any monitors. So capturing like a PC gameplay or directly from a PC monitor isn't working. So that kind of limits the functionality of it. Also the second one, which is the 4K mini monitor card, which I thought I was gonna be able to like use as a pass through is really just made to use as a monitor. You can connect the monitor f to it and use it um, for a monitor if you're using like an editing applications like Premiere or something like that. So for that purpose, it works great as a pass through for 4K. Okay, no, so I don't even need this anymore. I'm just gonna pull that out. I also marked in and out on all these, uh, and I, I actually looked at the Elgato 4K 60 Pro, and that already has in and out marked on it. So that's gonna have a pass through for 4K, which is gonna work great for the capturing video games, and I'll still keep the 4K as an in, because this actually works great as a capture for my camera, the GH5. Thank you. 
So I ended up working into the evening on this project yesterday, and uh, that was very nice because I like this system. Uh, I like this system a lot, actually, because I don't care what it looks like. It is only supposed to be functional, and as a result, I wasn't worrying about RGB lights or anything. There's not even a side window on this or anything. I did opt to use the Be Quiet Silent Bass's uh, side fan intakes here, so I've popped those on, and then on the other side, it's just got a little bit of a gap there, so you can pop that panel out to provide some air intake, and that is just, again, more fresh air intake internally for all the stuff going on in there. And then as you can see, I still got the 1080 Ti in there and then all the capture cards set up with the Blackmagic Intensity on top, which is just a 1080 60 capture card. I've got the 4K mini below that and still keeping that in there to capture off of the GH5 because it does a great job with that. And then the Elgato down by itself and I separated that a little bit because these can get a little bit warm from what I have heard. Beyond that, it was just a matter of a, a lot of cleaning. There was a lot of dust built up in here and thankfully I was able to remove a lot of the pieces to get back in and under and get rid of cobwebs or dust or wherever that had built up. And then I had to remove, of course, one of my Intel 750 SSDs, a civil blank spot there, and I'm probably gonna take my 1.2 terabyte Intel 750 and drop it in there. So I'll have a couple of those. For now, I've got the 400 gig one working just by itself, two three terabyte drives in RAID 1, and that's just for some redundant storage so I can copy footage onto that. For the main storage drive, I'm using the Toshiba OCZ RD400, and that is a 500 gig version of that. And after that, it was just a matter of getting all the software set up. So I did a clean install of Windows 10 on this because I did want that. And uh, fortunately, before I went and wiped everything and removed the old hardware, I went and got a list of all the software and applications that were installed, backed up everything from my documents and downloads folder and wallpaper and all that good stuff. So I could easily reinstall everything and get this system back up and running. And it's actually worked out great. So the main things that are new is the Elgato software. So I just went and downloaded that from their website, installed it. Uh, haven't used it too much, but it seems to work just fine and the capture card itself was recognized. Also downloaded and installed the Blackmagic software, which I'm not quite as fond of, but it is functional enough for now. So uh, that does give me the capability to capture two 4K streams, a 1080 stream, and then the possible addition of another 1080 stream if I add the Razer Rip saw to this as well. I tested this last night, but uh, just running another test real quick. Here's my GH5, it's in uh, 4K mode. It is piped into the Elgato in the back there. And then here, look, it's working. There's me, hi, hi me. I also wanted to check uh, the Black Magic devices just to make sure they are functional. And it looks like on the drop down list here, yes, we do have the Intensity Pro as well as the Decklink Mini Recorder 4K. Those are both being recognized. And, and yes, I do recognize it's kind of silly to build a crazy capture system and then be recording the screen, but this video is almost over, so don't worry about it. But guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am really excited to get this new system back into my production workflow, and I've decided to change the name. Before it was the Godly Streaming and Capture System because at the time, the 6950X 10 core CPU from Intel was the best CPU that you could get when it comes to consumer CPUs. Now that's not the case anymore, so I've changed the name to Captain Stream. That's right. Captain Stream or Captain Streamer. That's that's the name of the system now. And it's Cap and Stream because capture and streaming is both. It's very it's super clever. Anyway, thanks again for watching this video, guys. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.